real quick. Wolverine! The X Gen. Or Blackbird, sorry. X Men, baby! Hello once again audience, it is I Dan here aka Force Sky, and another video on A4 Sky Dork. With the Dork Room, I want to show you those who have not seen it yet because I recorded the video close to a year ago um, showing a lot of the stuff in the Dork Room. We have action figures, we have comic book cover like picture things there little things hanging off the wall Oop, readjust that one the hulk and we have the ultimate spider-man ultimate movie spider-man that Lindsay got for me uh for christmas a couple years ago i have not hung it up because as you see there's not a wall right there so i actually want that spider-man thing hung up between here and there. I'm going to this weekend. Um, well, okay. So you'll see, I'm gonna do multiple clips. I'm gonna put them together as a video. Um, you're gonna see a huge change. I have all these boxes with action figures um, over here, both anime and, well, anime there too. Uh, DC and Marvel Legends. Um, I've been wanting to open this room up. Um, as you can see, I have two arcade machines here. Turn that on. You can see the screen. It lights up on the top. Ooh. Arcade one up. Yeah. Oh, baby. So I have a machine that I'm going to hook up this weekend. I have the house to myself, so I have a bunch of projects I'm going to do. Um, the X-Men four person arcade machine it shows the four, four things. Um, I want to set that up in that corner, but I need to put the wall up first. So I'm gonna do that this weekend after I move all of this stuff to a different spot. There is an open spot underneath the shelving in another part of the basement. So I'm going to utilize that um, to move all this out. There should be enough room for all this to fit in that area. Um, so that will be awesome. And I will finally have this, everything done in here so I could record down here in the basement um, in the dork room instead of recording up in the great room with the dining room table. Um, so, Pac-Man Arcade. Whew. So, Lindsay does not like the uh, joystick here. So, I'm going to have to get her... I'm going to have to buy more of, like, the classic feel of a joystick. Like, the classic joystick from... I don't know. I'm, I'm sure... Oops. I'm sure that they actually... They actually have it. All my doors are locked. It always sounds like there's someone moving around upstairs. Uh, walking around. Um, yeah. So I'm sure Arcade 1-Up has different set types of um, joysticks uh, that I can purchase. And I just replaced that one with it. Um, actually, I think I'd have to take the cabinet apart. And then maybe there'll be some... Maybe there's something else I could put on it in its place to kind of give it more the arcade, like old school arcade feel. Yeah, see, here's the ball. Um, maybe there's a taller ball or a larger ball or... And the controls on the Mortal Kombat one, the joysticks on there, I don't really like that. I don't, I, they're okay. They're okay. Um, so yeah, uh, the next clip, I'm going to show all the boxes moved out. And then the clip after that will be the finished product for tomorrow or Saturday. The day that this is uploaded, I will have everything finished. Um, I'll have the drywall up in this section. So that will be blocked off. 
Um, I'm going to have the Spider-Man movie, the trio Spider-Man movie um, painting up on the wall and the arcade mach machine in the corner here. And then I'm going to have a table in here where I will rest my laptop. Um, and that's where I'll be recording from. And maybe you'll see some ghosts in some of my videos. I, I, I kind of want to put a door on this though, so you won't see any ghosts out there. Um, it's just for the privacy, you know? Uh, but no, I, I don't think you'd see, because I'd have the camera kind of like this. And it would be hitting these. I'd make sure these are on as like ambiance. Uh, but yeah, uh, so this is the first part. Probably four more minutes uh, worth of footage. And we'll see you in the next part. And well, I wanted to do a halfway point. Um, I'm about to put the drywall up on there. Um, sadly, the piece that I believe was in this area is not quite long enough to, or wide enough to cover everything. So I'm going to have a little bit of a gap along here, but that's okay. I don't mind a small gap. Maybe I could get like some foam or something and foam in along this piece. But yeah, the arcade machine should fit. Uh, should come out to about where the tip of my toe is. Yeah, it should come out to about there from the wall. So you can sneak in behind here. Just kind of sneak in here. Um, I'm going to end up moving most of these boxes and stuff too. Uh, so I could get that table in as well. And then I could put the boxes underneath the table. Well, the wall is up. It's not the prettiest, but we're going to have stuff blocking a lot of this, so it won't look too bad. And um, down here, there's a little bit. I'm going to have to clean up the mess. And there's a little bit of a gap, but that's fine. I don't, I don't really care too much. I just wanted something solid for behind the uh, arcade machine. So this is fine how it is. It doesn't need to be perfect um, with the arcade machine and then the uh, poster and everything going up, the picture going up. I won't really have to worry about it looking that much like garbage because the um, arcade machine will cover up a lot of it. And then the shelving and stuff I'm going to eventually put on this will cover up most of it too. So to me, it's not really too big a concern. I mean, if, if it really, really bothers me, I could always get a real small piece of, uh, oop, I'm blocking the camera. I could always get a real small piece of drywall and put it in between. But, uh, yeah, now time for the arcade machine. This took a little longer than I wanted. Um, the arcade machine should only take an hour, hour and a half. Uh, wish me luck. Well, I did it. I put a shelf up, put some action figures on there. All my anime ones are behind it. Almost all of them. Oh, the X Men! Oh, Colossus! Woo! Nightcrawler, poofing on in, poofing on out. Look at that. Dazzler is actually a pretty cool character. So, from what I heard, the word on the street is Taylor Swift is going to be playing Dazzler in Deadpool 3. So X-Men, Captain America, and the Avengers. And Avengers Galactic Storm. That's a com that's like a fighting, like Mortal Kombat style. But there's a whole story to it, so it's awesome. This one's pretty cool. I, t I checked all them out. I tested them all out. Ah. Yes! <laughs> Woo. We have the wall up. We have the arcade machine. I just got to move all this stuff so there's room for someone to fit in around the side here. And then you could get someone on the side here. We could have a four-person party! Woo! With the X-Men! Nee, 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 nee,
Hope you have a nice day, morning, evening, night, afternoon. We'll see you in the next video. Boop. Make sure to right here. Watch this video. Ooh, check the video. Look at that. Look at that video. That is a wonderful video. I think you should check it out. Subscribe. You can subscribe too. Oh, for more videos. Ah, yeah. That'd be great. I'd much appreciate it.